When I was a newborn, I remember lying in the crib and my mother's face looking upon me, the smell of her makeup, the mascara on her eyebrows, but most of all, her red lips. It was in that moment that I fell in love with the magic of color. Stripe plums and silver grapes, orange strawberries, yellow blueberries. Look at all those purple figs and dates. Hi, I'm Mark Berland. I'm an artist, musician, poet, healer. Actually, I've been an artist since I'm four years old. My mom, my dad, petrified of me. I drew nothing but birds and angels from four to about eight years old. But by seven and eight, I did start doing abstract art. By the time I was 15, I met Robbie Semple. He was an eccentric artist from Monhegan Island. He knew all the artists in New York City from the 1950s to 80s. I'm very much into preserving the culture through the arts and I'm worried in general that our culture is changing so quickly that we might be losing the essence of the Western civilization in America in some ways. This is capturing a woman who is giving birth with her midwife and her mother who cannot control the situation because there was a problem that day. I had no idea this woman was really giving birth. She called me up the next day and told me she gave birth. I actually think in painting this, I helped some of the problem. That's my spiritual side of myself. I took classes with Kaji Aso, a Japanese painter, who gave me a lot of exercises with dots and calligraphy making circles. I must have made a thousand circles and to get what I was satisfied with and to get the color it took a half hour. So we're putting an orb in space. We're finding a beautiful background color which took quite a while. And then this is the intuitive part that popped into my head. I put these all together on horizon and it sort of looks like another world or could be Mars, could be the sun, something bigger than us and bigger than our ego. Down here is another story. This one came from a deep place. It represents the American ego sort of in peril, that we're living in a time where democracy really is in peril. Some people might disagree, but that was my feeling. And it was also a tribute to the American Indian. So how to manifest the invisible is by being humble to the images that one sees and the nuances that one sees. So many people believe, like, is George still drawing? They'll say that and he's 50 or 60 years old as if he's tinkering. But art, you work harder, more hours, think about it more than a lot of jobs out there. I could be spending a lot of time thinking about the world's solutions to all the problems. Or I could be spending time with art, which I think is not something where you're ignoring the world, but contributing to the culture and dignity of humanity.
Okay, cut. I wish I was a submarine in the China Sea. I'd talk to an octopus and read him his fortune cookie. I'd order a poo-poo platter with no MSG. And in the morning, I'd do a dance and perhaps a little Tai Chi. Now this is just a movie, a little fantasy. And if I could, I would bring back Mr. Bruce Lee. I'd listen to the Peking Opera and go hug a tree and find me an artist to teach me calligraphy. But I am in America, twiddle dum twiddle dee. I guess I'll have to settle for the Chinese laundry. Yes, a dream is just a dream from sea to shine and sea. I once knew a girl named May. She was Taiwanese. She loved grandma's tofu in pig's blood. That stuff is not for me. And rice with sardines. She said it would make her smart. Yes, she's a honeybee. Now let's get serious. The only thing I'd really miss, if it were up to me, is to sit and talk in that cafe while drinking that smooth, silky, smoky Chinese cup of tea.